Minnesota is a pretty cool place. And I made a video a little while back talking about how cool Minnesota is in relation to the things that it gives to the world that help make the world go round that a lot of people don't know about. A lot of manufacturing, mining, agriculture stuff, you know? And a few people responded to that video talking about how boring Minnesota is. If you think Minnesota's boring, it says a lot more about you than it does about Minnesota. Like, what is it that you need to be entertained? I mean, do you like music? The likes of Bob Dylan and Judy Garland and fucking Prince coming from Minnesota, you'd assume we've got a pretty decent music scene. And you'd assume, right, Minnesota is a top 10 most valuable contributor to United States music. We have world-class music venues like First Ave and an excellent recording scene, which is why people like Lizzo came here to get their start. We have some massive music festivals and music events for just about any genre of music you can imagine. And live music at bars, breweries, restaurants, wineries, just about everywhere you go. Speaking of bars, breweries, and wineries, do you like drinking? I do. And if, like me, you enjoy a good craft beer, you're in luck because Minnesota has three of the top 50 largest craft breweries. And we rank 15th for most breweries in the country. So if you want a good flight, don't hesitate to hop on a flight and come get one. Because our airport's also the best in the country, you know, for all those people who don't come to our boring state. Or maybe you don't like drinking with us heathens and your tastes are just a tad bit more refined. Well, hey, we've got some high society culture as well. From the Guthrie to the Ordway, we've got world-class performing arts. The Minnesota Opera is a top-notch professional opera. We have an outstanding array of top-notch museums, covering everything from music and art to history to science to culture. And includes the Walker, which has the famous sculpture park, you know, with the spoon and the cherry. And the Mill City Museum, which was voted the best history museum in the country. Or perhaps you like nightlife. Do you like nightlife, Sophie? Yeah? Hmm? Well, it doesn't matter if you're in Minneapolis, St. Paul, or Duluth. There's plenty of downtown bars, clubs, and speakeasies all within walking distance of each other, so you don't even need to find parking or call an Uber. And if you're really looking for a good time, there are some great gay bars, too. Still bored? Maybe LARPing is more your preferred form of entertainment. If that's the case, I'm sure you'll find something amusing at the Minnesota Renfest, which is the country's oldest, and depending on which source you go by, the largest, Renaissance Festival. We also have the country's largest state fair. In Texas, I will fight you on this. And we got some really great county fairs across the state, although I'm gonna go out and say that uh, Pine County, you know, my hometown, is probably the best. At least after you drink the amount of beer we consume at the Pine County Fair, it certainly seems that way. Or how about sportsing? We've got all the sportsing. I'm not gonna say that they're all that great, but you know, they're there. We've got pro and college football, baseball, basketball, soccer, hockey, pro women's basketball, and they're actually pretty good. And then whatever fucking league the St. Paul Saints are in now these days, and I'm not even a sports fan, but there is few things more entertaining than a Saints game. Oh, and then motorsports, we've got racetracks and motorsports parks all over the state. And you haven't been to a party till you've camped at the NHRA Nationals in Brainerd. Hell, we even have sports you'll probably only find here in like Wisconsin like racing snowmobiles over open water. That's a legit sanctioned sport here called water cross. Now, if you're still bored after all the bars and breweries and wineries and sporting events and fairs and festivals and music and museums and sculpture parks and restaurants and food halls, well, then maybe perhaps you're more of an outdoorsy person. Oh, well then, maybe we could interest you in some lakes. We have a few. We've got big lakes, like the biggest. We've got little lakes, we've got medium-sized lakes, we've got lakes you can only access by portaging in a fucking canoe. And since we have all these lakes, we have every type of lake-related recreation you can imagine. Water sports, you name it, we got it. Fishing, whether it's on ice or open water, it's some of the best in the country. Kayaking, canoeing, paddleboarding, I ain't got the cardio for that, but we've got it. Hell, just sit on the shore in a beach chair and get drunk, we don't judge. But there's a lot more to our great outdoors than just the lakes. From camping to hiking to hunting, you're never far from a state or national park. Voyager National Park has some of the most serene, untouched land in the country, much of which is only accessible by canoe or snowshoeing. We've got some amazing waterfalls. The North Shore is some of the most gorgeous scenery in the country. If you want to see wildlife, we've got everything from bears to wolves to moose. We've got more bald eagles than any place in the lower 48. You're like pigeons around here. We've got 2,500 miles of ATV trails and 22,000 miles of snowmobile trails. You can literally ride from southern Minnesota to Canada on a snowmobile if you want. Like seriously, with all that, are you not entertained? Now, I've lived in Florida and I've lived in Tennessee and Virginia. I've been to most of the states and there's some great things about all of them. But when it comes to the variety, quality, and cost of culture, entertainment, and recreation, I have yet to find any place that truly compares to the land of 10,000 lakes. Are you ever bored here, Sophie? Huh? Are you ever bored here? No, me either. So if you're bored here, it's probably because you choose to be boring.